Hey there YouTube, my name is Brian. I'm with Midwestern Wet Shavers on Facebook and here on YouTube. Join me in my dungeon basement bathroom because my wife makes fun of me for all this nonsense. Today I'm going to be doing a face shave. Uh, I'm going to be using my Windrose V1 razor. It is a double open comb slanted razor made in England. If you don't know anything about these razors, most people don't, visit their product page on Etsy at Razors and More. They have beautiful razors, amazing handles, incredible stuff. <clears throat> if you order one, you'll get it in a little tin that says Windrose, and I use that for my blade storage because I don't like to pay for extra things. Today I bought, or I received rather, a, I've been working my ass off in this pandemic present uh, that I purchased for myself. I'm a essential worker. I deliver beverages for a major beverage company uh, and we are essential to the uh, economy apparently. So I bought myself a present. I bought myself a new brush from Mula. It is a synthetic brush, and if you are like me, I love when things are packaged well. You will get your Mula if you buy one in this incredible leatherette case with Mula branded on it. And then when you open it, would you have a look at that? Now, Mark Zaredi, another popular YouTuber, if you don't know him, loves packaging. If you see this, Mark, give me a shout out because you would love this packaging. It's nice and silky. Let's have a look at that. Have a look. Now, it's only a 21 millimeter. I didn't really read the product description, which, if I'm honest, makes it kind of terrible money uh, for what you get, in my opinion, because this little bad boy costs $70 on Amazon, which is outrageous for a synthetic brush. But so far, it feels super soft, and it has an incredible party trick. And that party trick is, if this knot gets damaged for some reason, watch this. You can just take it out and replace it. And they have badger knots, they have bore knots, they have mix knots, bigger knots, same size knots, and they all fit into the handle. I think that's pretty incredible. And for like 70 bucks, you can buy their biggest knot, their best badger knot, and it will fit into this handle. And that actually kind of makes it the, a huge bang for the buck. Uh, I'm going to be using Murphy & McNeil's Triskelly. It is a barbershop set. A soft soap, very super soft. It comes right off on your hands. But it's fantastic. Whips up a great lather. At least I really hope it does this time because I've not used this brush yet. It's brand new. And I'm going to be using West Coast Shavings Gatsby number one, uh, which is actually V2. The original one was kind of a rose scent. I really liked it. They discontinued it for whatever particular reason. Don't know. They don't pay me to make those kinds of decisions. And on my face today for the razor, I'm going to use a Gillette Platinum Blade. Uh, I know a lot of you um, talk smack about the Gillette Platinum or uh, you have problems with Gillette, the company, ever since they made that commercial. Grow up, okay? It's a commercial. If you don't like it, don't watch it. Complicated, right? Sorry, I say what I like. If you don't like it, you don't have to like me. It's great. It's America, right? Well, let's talk about something we do like, and that's shaving. I've got this soap put here in my Charmin granite bowl. I'm just going to wet my face real quick and we'll make that lather. All right. First time using this Mula synthetic and let's see how she does. Now I had, or I still have rather, I have an Omega two band board brush. I also have a 
uh, Sterling Kong Plasoft. And I was kind of getting bored with my Plasoft. Need to add a little bit of water in here. It's a little dry. Boy, this this sucker whips up quick. I mean, we're getting there. And it's only been a few seconds. I think it would probably whip faster if it was a bigger knot. But, you know, what are you going to do? I guess that's what happens when you don't do your proper product research. Which I'm guilty of all the damn time. I buy shit and I don't pay attention to what it is exactly I'm buying because I'm an idiot, so, which I'm sure by now all of you are thinking, so that's fine. Mm -hmm. I think we're just about there already. Yeah, that, that whips up pretty darn nice for such a small little brush. I'm just going to take a little bit of it. Oh, now we're getting places. For being such a smooth handle, this brush really stays in your hand pretty well. And this bowl is, is machine milled out of a solid block of granite. And it's covered in tons and tons and tons of tiny little ridges in there to help you whip that up. And that looks much better. Here we go. The splay is really, really nice on this. And it's got really tough backbone. God, it's held on to a lot of soap. I didn't get it all transferred into the bowl. This is just sticking right on. Super soft. I would, I, I would argue it's just as soft as my Passoft brush. I have about five days worth of beard growth going on right now. I'm also going to shave my head tonight, but this video will be 45 minutes long if I do that all in one shot, so I'm not going to do that to save you all your lives. Because uh, I'm sure in this pandemic you have something better to do than watch some idiot from Illinois shave. Here we go. Now, something I will say is that my skin is basically made out of toilet paper and my beard is made out of steel wool. It's a terrible combination to have. I will, at some point, cut the living hell out of myself because I do on most days. I do love this razor. It is incredibly efficient. That's a good first pass. Not bad. Managed yeah, not to slice myself open. I apologize for these camera angle. I don't have one of those nifty little suction cups that sucks onto my mirror. And even if I did the mirror in this particular bathroom, because it's in a basement and I'm six foot five, is lower than I am, which is kind of annoying. But I'm trying not to bother my wife. My daughter's asleep. So I'm trying not to bother her either.
she's only three, so you know, bedtime's around seven thirty, eight o'clock, and not like she has, she she attends preschool, but right now with all this going on, she's really missing all the friends she has at school. Man, this brush is impressing the hell out of me. This brush, it splays out so good. And the backbone and the softness all come together. It is fantastic. I take back what I said. This is worth the $70 that I paid. It genuinely is. I didn't know if it would be at first, but god dang, this is, it's fantastic. You can forget about your Plisoft. You can forget about Viking's Blade. I've had I've had one of those as well. I've had a Viking's Blade White Knight before, and I know a lot of people love it. I like Viking's Blade products. I gave it away because it would scratch me too much. The bristle tips were too rough for my tissue paper face. That, this little brush, this is fantastic. If you have the money to spend, I suggest it. If you don't, save it up and find the money because you won't regret it, I promise. All right, now we're gonna go back down south. As Windrose Razor, I don't know that they make this head anymore. Um, they make a version 2, which I'm greatly considering, but these aren't cheap either. They're super heavy if you're into that. If you're not, um, they have smaller handles than the one I chose. I chose this handle based on aesthetics, and I just learned to live with it. It is super heavy. I know a lot of things that I'm using today are really left field. I'm that kind of person. I love left field things. I've had Android, I've had Mac, or an iPhone, I've had a Blackberry, and I've had a Windows phone. I've had them all. You know what? I loved the Windows phone. I loved it so much. I love Volvos. I love pretty much anything alternative. I love alternative music. Holy shit, this brush holds so much lather. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I can't get over this brush. It's ridiculous. Why has nobody on YouTube really done a review for one of these? This, in my kind of not really humble opinion, because anybody who says, in my humble opinion, your opinion isn't humble. Get the hell out of here. This is so much better than a plus soft brush by anybody. I would put that toe to toe, that little 21 millimeter brush. Look at that. Look at this beautiful coating right there. All right, we're gonna do our final pass, side to side. OK, 
kind of have to forgive my long pauses while I shave. I'm not used to talking and shaving at the same time. This is my first YouTube video ever, really. I made MySpace videos way back in the day, but that was a long time ago. And this wind rose it is incredibly efficient, but it's also incredibly aggressive. If you screw it up, if you can see, I've already got some bleeders going on. But that happens almost every time I shave. That's just how my skin is. Now, if you haven't tried the Murphy and McNeil soap, I highly suggest that too. Their slickness is bar none. It's ridiculous. I mean, this is... I've got so much slickness right here, I don't need to apply anything else. Their soaps are a bit pricey, I'll admit. I want to say this Triskelly was I think 20 or 25 dollars shipped off Etsy I think I'd have to double check that I got the mole on my side on the side of my face pretty well my chin strap here is always very difficult for me to get they have two different um, soap bases. They have their um, tallow and lanolin base, which is a soft soap, and then they also have a duck fat base, which is a hard puck. I'll have to apologize. I'll have to apologize for that. That was somebody upstairs using the toilet. Apologize for that. Hopefully, somebody will edit that out. All right, now we're gonna use this West Coast shaving aftershave. Not bad, not bad at all. I'd rate this as DFS, not exactly BBS, it's close. If I really wanted to spend the time to do it, I could, but this video is already at 1834, 36, whatever. So anyway, this has been Brian with the Midwestern Wet Shavers. If you are interested in joining the group, look it up on Facebook. If you live in the Midwest, I definitely suggest you do because we all do that are in the group, or at least to my knowledge. Great group of people, open dialogues. It's great. Have a great day, everybody. Or a great evening, wherever you are. Stay safe, especially now. Hold your loved ones tight. Have a good night.